This portion demonstrates the third degree vaginal laceration, which includes an external rectal sphincter. Visualization is important here. A Galpi retractor, which unfortunately I don't have for this video, but I did show you a photo of, is very helpful. It's self-retaining and it will spread the vaginal laceration so that the external rectal sphincter is easily visible for repair. I do have a Guardian retractor from Cooper Surgical. This is a very large vaginal retractor and often is inserted superiorly like this to spread the superior tissues and a Galpi retractor posteriorly to reveal the uh, external rectal sphincter. We'll try to get along without our Galpi for this part of the demonstration. We're going to demonstrate the side-to-side -side repair of the rectal sphincter. Um, physicians in the past have used the four-point repair uh, like the hands of a clock, 12, 3, 6, and 9. The overlapping repair side-to-side -side, is more durable and favored by rectal surgeons and will be the method I propose here. The Alice retractor is very nice. It can grasp the sphincter and tug it out into view. It's nice to have two of them so you can grasp the opposite one and tug them crisscross like that. An assistant, if you have one, may hold those for you. Or once they're in easy view, sometimes you can let go of them and they'll stay put. The repair for this portion, start on the top, go through and through the rectal sphincter and through and through the bottom one. Pick up the needle. This is our same suture. It's a, a CT1 needle and typically 2O or 3O vicryl. And we're going to go right back up through and through both sides. And then we're going to tie that. Like I said with Vicryl, one of the knots needs to be a double knot. Vicryl likes to untie itself. Try to put square knots down and put at least three in. And then you can trim that short, leaving at least a half a centimeter so it can't come untied. And we want to put three in. So we're going to put one down farther. We're going to bring it through, regrasp. Good light, good help is very important for this repair. Common third and fourth degree lacerations may take 45 minutes to an hour, so adequate anesthesia for your patient is essential. If you don't have those services in your labor delivery area, a trip to the operating room is very worthwhile. You've got to see and you've got to have help. So that's through and through again. This is the second one. We'll shorten it up a bit. And then we'll tie it. Three knots, one of them being a double knot. And then the third one we can place between the other two. This is usually the easiest one because things are pretty stable by now. Remember to include the fascia around this rectal muscle. That's the heart, that's the strong part of the repair. And don't crush it, just approximate it. And 
and then we'll cut that short about a half a centimeter to a centimeter long. And that completes the repair of the external rectal sphincter. The next step is to turn it into a um, vaginal laceration that resembles a second degree tear. So what you do is remove your retractors, let the tissues come together, <coughs> and then what we want to do is with our same 2 or 3 -0 Vicryl, close the vaginal wall over that rectal repair. So we're going to have a, a set of deep sutures here. So we can protect that rectal sphincter. So stay out of the rectal sphincter, but it's the tissues immediately above. That you want to close. And we'll put one more. So this will be basically three running sutures <coughs> to protect our sphincter repair. And you can just snug that up and you can just tie it with an overhand stitch. And I'll not lock it because I want to save the suture. And now you've turned it into a second degree repair, which is very easy. We just demonstrated it on the other side. So the point is to convert a third degree repair into a second degree repair and you already know how to fix that. That's the only difference for this portion.